Hello guys, welcome to online digital marketing training and uh, previous sessions we finished uh, how to create websites and Swati has created this website from scratch from basics like uh, what is domain what is hosting to how to create a basic WordPress website to finally e-commerce website how to create we learn and this is the result she created the website. I hope remaining people also learned from these videos. I hope this is helping you. And uh, today we are going for the big topic called SEO. SEO is not uh, as easy as WordPress. WordPress is just designing. If you spend more time, it will be done. But SEO, some technicality will be there. Some new terms will be there. So to better understand this, you have to focus. But this skill, only this skill give you freelancing jobs, work from home jobs. You can do blogging, you can become a YouTuber because of this SEO techniques. You can do affiliate marketing. So many things you can do it. Okay, and if you go for applying for a job also, people ask you SEO. And this is a science. You will be playing with the keywords and all these things. This is my personal interested topic and uh, so people who are watching this live you have to be focused and uh, learn practically. Shall then without delay I'll, I'm going. So yes SEO Suraj Hai. I hope Swati you have joined the session. Let me know Swati once you join just say hi. <clears throat> okay. Chalo. SEO. Guys tell me what do you know about SEO? Tell me guys what is SEO? Which are Telugu hi? As per your knowledge, what might be SEO? Of course, SEO, everyone knows the abbreviation like uh, search engine optimization. But what does it mean? What people will do in SEO? If anyone have an idea, please let me know. According to you, authorities, please let me know. Suraj, WeChat, Swati, anyone can answer this question. To give viewers to improve heat rates of a website. Okay. Chala, then I'll tell you. <clears throat> Assume that uh, you want to buy some shoes. You want to buy a shoes. You'll be searching on Google specific like uh, I want a sports shoes. You're searching. When you search, you'll be getting a results. Uh, I'll try to open incognito. Sports shoes I'm searching. And see, uh, I'm getting some results. And obviously, this is a change. When I scroll down, the previous Chrome was in such a way that you can go to the second page, third page, but now it is keep on scrolling down. But nobody scroll this much. Generally, SCRP have only top 10 results. This is about the shoes. Maybe you end up clicking on the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, maybe the 10th one. Let me ask another question. Like you want to learn some software course like AWS course in Hyderabad. You want to join this course and you're searching this. And I'm getting results. Can you see? Oh, this is the results I got it. This guy's in the first position, second, third, fourth, fifth. So mostly I might click on 10 results. But this is more like a second page. Keep on coming. So mostly the top people will get the visibility, they will get clicks. Correct? 
Okay, I assume that your website is somewhere down. I keep on scrolling down somewhere in the deep. Your website is there means you will not get business. So conclusion is creating a website will not give you business for sure. Creating a website will not give you business. What give you business is if your website is search engine friendly and your ranking for this is okay, I'll talk about the journals later. So if you're ranking on top, then that is good for you. Okay. And let me search another keyword. Data science codes in Hyderabad. Now see the format. When I'm searching this, one, two, three, four are ads. After that, these are organic results. Means these are paid results, guys. These people have paid money to Google to show their website. So Google is recommending them. This we call as a Google Ads. You'll be learning later. But these people with their content, Google feel that for the particular keyword, this content is more relevant. So relevant content will be shown here. And these people are enjoying this and they get very good business. Three, four, total 10 results will be there. And after that, again, ads will repeat and other results keep on repeating. Okay. This is Google, which is a search engine. <clears throat> Google is a search engine like uh, can you please tell me guys what are the other search engines which you know only Google is a search engine or do you know any other search engines please let me know if you know any other search engine please type in the comment what are the search engines you know Yahoo is a search engine correct very many people try Google is a search engine. Yahoo also a search engine. What are the other search engines? Bing, right? Yes. Bing also search engine. Next. Any other? So, Alta Vista. I don't know. I never heard about that search engine. Is it really available? Google is a search engine. Yahoo is a search engine. Bing is a search engine. I don't know these names you. DuckDuckGo is also a search engine. MSN is a search engine. In such a way, many search engines came, but Google is dominating. Bing and Yahoo combined to beat the Google, but it's not possible. They only confirmed that for the next 10 years also we can't beat Google. Google is very big. Google is very accurate. 90% of the world use Google. And Bing also nobody use in India. Almost nothing. US people use Microsoft well. well. So this is Microsoft developed search engine Bing. Okay. There are also people search like, like I'm opening Google and searching right. In the same way, you can open bing.com and you can search like the same thing. Like uh, what I search, data science codes in Hyderabad. Here also results are there. See the second page, third page system is there. So nobody go to second page. Actually, Google was same like this. Top four ads, bottom three ads between organic results. Then you can go to second page. Nowadays, Google is not like that. It's adding the content. You can keep on scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. But nobody scrolled that much. So only top 10 people only will get the business. So there are so many search engines available in the world. But Google gives you accurate results. And 90% uh, of the people use Google. That's why we learn more about search engine. Google only. So here search engine doesn't mean Google. But because 90% of the people are using, we're referring to Google only. Okay, what I'm saying here, search engine optimization. What I have to optimize my website. I have to optimize my website to the search engine in such a way that my website should come on top for the particular keyword. My website should come on top. 
for that what kind of techniques you are applying is seo i'll tell you a simple example i don't know whether it is accurate or not so assume that you are uh, trying to flirt with a girl okay when you really want to flirt with a girl you follow some tricks right maybe you dress up well okay you speak well okay maybe you go to the hotel a number of things will be there or else you give gifts these all things right but it depends on your character or depends on the woman either she accept or reject so google is more like a woman only so if you are not good you pretend like a good person good gentleman and you try to flirt also when google come to know that you are not a good guy tata bye bye so what i'm trying to tell you is like you flirt with a girl you are not good boy but you you acted like a good guy when she comes to know that she also say tata bye bye same here also so google says only one thing man right content for the user write very good information on your website don't try to flirt with me man if you are really good website i will accept you and i'll put you on top okay the, the example slowly you will understand in the future now first of all i'll try to explain the terminology see when we open a google i already told you this is a search engine and here what are you search this is called a keyword remember this we will repeat this n number of times in the future we will use this word keyword this is called a keyword again keyword also if i type shoes this is also keyword okay and if i type red shoes this is also keyword but this is called a short tail keyword one word or two words is called a short tail keywords now if i type by red nike shoes online this is a long tail keyword okay short tail keyword and a long tail keyword <coughs> short tail keyword it's almost tough to rank for you can't rank for this keyword big players only rank you are a small website and you want to rank for this this keyword it's almost impossible so don't try it we have to be smart we have to be smart okay so try for the long tail keywords again these things will be learning in the future but as of now remember whatever we search here this is called the keyword and this is complete this thing you search something you got results right this is the results page so this is called s e r p it means search engine results page because something you're searching on the search engine it gave some results and this page is called serp previously layout was in such a way now it has changed top four ads for the particular keyword when i search for uh, digital marketing codes in hyderabad can you see ads ads are there top four ads will be there bottom three ads will be there and between 10 organic results will be there organic results nothing but these people have written a great content and google found that for the particular keyword this is more relevant i'll tell you, tell you one thing who is coming on top xlr is coming on top for, for what keyword data science codes in hyderabad let me change something here i'm typing best data science codes in hyderabad i change the keyword so i'm not sure that the same website come on top each keyword different people will come on top so let's see this best digital marketing xlr is coming let me type top so this is not ad linkedin is coming first second is 360 digital see the difference xlr is third now so if you are ranking for one keyword it doesn't mean that you will rank for every keyword different keywords have a different position now for normal data science codes in hyderabad best data science codes in hyderabad google thought that 
XLR have a relevant content, but when I search for top, Google thought LinkedIn has a best information or this 360 digit MG has a best information. Clear guys, any questions so far? Right, so top four ads, bottom three ads, and how to run these ads you'll be learning in the Google ad section. I'm concerned about this 10 organic results only. But nowadays, Google doesn't have a 10 organic results. If you keep on scrolling down, the ads are coming and organic results are keep on coming. But Bing is the same. It has a top four, bottom three between 10 organic results we have. Now, what is SEO is nothing but I want to come here. I want to make my website in this top 10 results. If possible, top three. If possible, first position. For that, what techniques I'm following? So if you ask me the proper uh, definition of SEO, SEO, see, I told you the terminology, right? You have to use this terminology, keyword and SCRP. SEO is a technique of making a website on top of SCRP for a keyword entered by a user. So I'm trying to explain what I'm doing. So I have a website like uh, assume that entirely path is my website. Now what I'm trying is I'm adding my techniques in such a way, writing content keywords in such a way that for the particular keywords on this SCRP, I want to try on top, top 10 or top three or top, top one. That is called SEO. So techniques of making your website on top of SCRP for a keyword entered by the user. These two things mandatory you should tell. You don't have to buy hard this, but understand these things. That's it guys. That is SEO. What all the techniques we apply, how we rank our website on top, I'll be showing you in the future. Okay. And uh, did I do any things? Did I made any website on top? This ODMT website, my website, for the keyword called online digital marketing training, Throughout India, I was in a first position. I was in a first position. At the time, I was teaching online trainings back in six years back. But later, I stopped online training. I was targeting Hyderabad only. Because when you change, ranks will go on. But now, I'm focusing on Telugu only. And I'm not even teaching in English now. ODMT main website, you can clearly see that this is targeting we are in Telugu. For English, odmt.in slash English page is there. So my focus was for Telugu, right? So let me show you where I am. Digital marketing course in Telugu right now. One YouTube video is there. So here is my website. And this I tried just one month back. One or two months back. Previously we were working on YouTube. My goal is in the next two months, I'll try to put it on the first position. This, what I'm trying to tell you is, it's not easy to make your website on first position. And it is not impossible also, it is possible. Okay, it takes time. It takes time, keep it in mind. And I work with uh, one of my client, Order Beauty Supply. This is a US based uh, cosmetic uh, website. Here is the he was the biggest distributor. He contacted me to promote his website. And I did SEO. And I made this website in such a way that now this is a competition for Amazon and Walmart also. My website used to come on top better than Amazon and Walmart for more than 300 keywords. Okay. It's been one year. I'm not working with the client because... Uh, there are some issues with the product because US few products have been banned. That's why. But if you see now also, let me open Google USA. And uh, let me pick one product of them. Caro White is a product. Caro White soap, Caro White lightning cream, water it might be. Let me select one. Amazon is there. Amazon is there. Cora questions. Okay. Go 
carotid cream. Can you see orderbeautysupply.com? I told you, right, it's been one year. I'm not working with this. That's why I came down. Otherwise, after Amazon, immediately I used to come. Not all these brands now took a chance and they coming. US beauty buzzer always used to come down me. What I'm trying to tell you is if you stop doing SEO, your ranks will come down. It's a continuous process. But still, it's been one year. Still, it is enjoying the first page. Okay, recently I had a conversation with the client that uh, we lost so much of rankings. So I told him that it's a continuous process. You should do it. In such a way, for 300 keywords, we used to come better than Amazon. Let me try one more keyword where we are. Soap. See, I'm, I'm feeling sad that other companies are coming. Uh, yeah, see, still we are top 10, fifth or sixth position we are. So it's a continuous process. You should keep on doing. Right. <clears throat> Now we understood, uh, let me ask three questions. Yes, please try to answer. What is SERP guys? What is SERP? And what is the layout? Please answer. Anyone typing? Yes. Search engine results page. Correct. Search engine results page. And what is the layout, guys? What is the SERP layout? How many ads? How many organic results? Can you please tell me the layout? How many top four ads? Correct. Correct, Lakshmi Raja. Top four ads, bottom three ads, and between 10 organic results. Very good. Can someone def define the SEO? Search engine optimization means write in your own words. You don't have to buy hearted, but uh, write in your own words. What is SEO? SEO is a what? In your own words, whatever the words you are. If your friend asks you, Are, what is the meaning of SEO? You should be able to answer it. So tell me, what is SEO? A technique of making a website on top of a CRP for a keyword entered by the user. Very good. Very good. So you are using a technique to rank a website on top of SERP, Sajna Niyas, you said that top of SERP for what? You have to write for a keyword. Because I told you, write every keyword. You're ranking your website on top of a what? For a keyword, you should tell. If you type best, some results will be there. Top will be some results will be there. That's why you should use that keyword. Because when you go for interview, these things matter. They'll understand by your answer. Okay. Right. Now, uh, if I type shoes, if I, if I type shoes, that is also keyword. But what do you call that? What kind of keyword is that? Prashant, correct. So if you type shoes, yeah, it's called a short tail keyword. Very good. Any one word? Or two words, it's a short tail keyword. More than that, it's a long tail keyword. Right. Now, okay, Freed. Thank you for your responses. Now, let me move forward. We understood the basic things like what is keyword, what is SERP, what is SEO. We understood. Now,
we try to understand how a search engine works how search engine works so this is a typical question guys and i'm telling you if any one of the out of 12 people are there maybe future more people will come not everyone can show interest on uh, seo now when i go to these ads these ads are very interesting very easy to learn setting up ad is very easy today only my client uh, one jewelry uh, outlet in hyderabad they have four to five branches and uh, 2 lakhs rupees they invested on the ads just i spent some 15 to 20 minutes and create so creating that ad is very easy my ads are working already views are coming actually business also keep on going that is very easy creating an ad is very easy you can master in 10 days or 15 days but seo is a very lengthy process and uh, obviously if you learn some skill which is very tough for you will be having value now today you learn this you have a 10 years experience also but other guy can learn in one year and he can be become master but seo can't be like this it comes with experience so this is the skill which gives you a lot of money which gave me a lot of money which will you also it will give you a lot of money so it will be somewhat tougher when i teaching this one but if you have a patience you can make a lot of money in this so now i'm going to explain you how a search engine works now you have to be active what i'm searching now i'm searching sachin i want to know more information about sachin and i got the result and you can see a 19 crore results are there when i type sachin 19 crore results it, does, it means there are around 19 crore articles are written on keyword called sachin and if you keep on scrolling it will come and google took only 0.51 seconds to retrieve this data not even 1 second this much of data also google retrieved in 0.51 seconds first thing second now i'm searching something else now now i'm searching for laptop and for this see the results maybe 83 crores 833 crore results and google has retrieved in 0.62 seconds and google is talking only about laptop not about sachin means when i type sachin it gave only sachin not laptop when i type laptop it gave only laptop it means it is accurate google is fast and accurate finally i'm typing shoes you got to choose also 495 crore results and 0.70 seconds my question to all of you is how google is so fast and so accurate and without any mistakes it's giving information what is your idea how google might be working here how search engine works or how google works please please mention your thoughts what are the knowledge you have you can tell me over here how search engine might be working according to your knowledge because of keywords what do you mean by keywords indexing storage algorithm so if you uh, keywords okay but uh, i'll try to put another example which i generally use so that you can better uh, explain this <clears throat> crawling okay assume that all of you are working for odmt institute and assume that every day we have 1 lakh students are enrolling for the course which is very impossible but assume that 1 lakh people are joining and after 30 days we have 30 lakhs people have joined the course and uh, you are a administrator you maintaining their data and you are not using any laptop just you maintaining in a record only you writing ramu sita subhash suraj something like this you maintaining everything so no everything is a paper work you did it 30 lakhs data now 
on 31st day i came and asked for i want contact information of anita how much time you will take to retrieve the anita information please tell me there are 30 lakhs data you written in a paper and 31st day i came and asked you that i want contact info of anita so how much time you will take to retrieve the data tell honestly if you take more time tell that i take more time yes prashant based on how data is written you, yeah you tell me how you read mohammad afrid can you please explain how it is 15 minutes suraj uh, you are the admin you tell me how you save the data in a paper so tell me accordingly time remaining people also tell me prashant nirmala lakshmi raja swati how you save the data how you retrieve how much time you will take if you try to answer it you will better understand this concept Mohammad Afrid, you try to explain me why it is 15 minutes. How fast, how can you do it? 30 lakhs data is there. Yes, I hope you are trying the answers. Obviously, if it is a paperwork, it will take time. But how much time you take? What is your process? Suraj, please explain me what is how you save the data to get it faster. If you can't answer, I'll try to reveal the answer. Or I'll try to give you another example. Make it more interactive, guys. Combination, we can store the data like dictionary, we can retrieve data easily. Right, Nirmala. Let's take that example only, guys. Let me open the dictionary. I gave you Oxford dictionary and I ask you to check the meaning of the kite. How much time you will take, guys? Less than less than 30 seconds. Is it your greatness? Dictionary also have 30 lakhs words. But why you are able to retrieve in less than 30 seconds, guys? Can you please answer? Why are you retrieving very fast? Because the dictionary data is stored very organized. Alphabetical order. A, 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 B, A, C. So, when it comes to us as well, the 30 lakhs data, Suraj was trying to tell initially that uh, by saying with the combination or something. So, here, retrieving is not a matter. How you store the data is very important. Or oh, Nirmala also answered correct. How you store it is very important. So, 30 lakhs people have joined. Then what you do is, here, maintain 26 records. Don't maintain one record. One record, traditional record, you can't accommodate 30 lakhs people. So, 26 records. For A, one record. For B, one record. For C, one record. For Z, one record. Suddenly someone came and says that uh, I want to know more information about uh, some, let's take something else here. Yes, she knew. Then directly I'll pick the yes record. I don't have to waste the 26 records. And she knew means yes, I'll go for S A S B S R and directly I'll be getting the information. So storing is very important. Dictionary also works in such a way. I hope all of you understood what I'm trying to explain. Nagamalishwari, here I'm teaching the subject. I'm not, uh, because people will get confused uh, if you talk about advanced things. So in Telugu, you can ask me here. Here we're going with the line. Okay. So you can, uh, you can engage in this combination. Right. So you understood, right? How this thing, why I'm telling because 
I've shown you a lot of results here, right? This much of data Google is retrieving only because of that mechanism also. Google has strong saving system in such a way that it will read through the data very fastly. So data is organized very good. That is the reason there are so many results and Google is retrieving very fast. So they have a mechanism here. So how search engine works? If someone asks you, you can say these things. First, they do crawling. Second, they do indexing. Third, calculating relevancy. Fourth, retrieving results. This is the process. Crawling. Crawling is nothing but collecting data. Now, you have 30 lakhs data, right? First of all, you collected the data. Without collecting the data, how will you show the content? So Google also, <clears throat> the sad thing about Google is Google don't have websites. Like Red Bus doesn't have bus. Mostly OA Rooms doesn't have hotels. Jezdal doesn't have any service. Amazon never manufacture a product. Mediator, in the same way Google also same thing. Google never write blogs. Google never write blogs on all these things. There are bloggers like me, like my students who write the content. Those people content Google bring over here. So Google work is from morning to evening. They crawl the internet. They go to each and every website and collect the data. They have a process. How they collect the data? They have software. Okay. The software name is called crawler. Other names also there. You can call it as a crawler, spider, Google bot. These are the names it have. This software will come to each and every website in the world. Now it will come to this website. It comes to this website. If Google never comes to this website, it can't collect the data. But Google collect the data like this. Understood guys? This is called crawling. Once data is collected, this is the biggest calling, right? Now you have 30 lakhs data. You should know how to save it, right? Google do indexing. Indexing is nothing but store data as per the categories here. I'll try to show you. This is my way of explaining. I'm not telling that Google works in a same way. Google might work in a different way. They, they divide the categories into like this. Movies, technology, travel, fashion, political, sports, blah, blah, blah. Now assume that if someone written a blog on Sachin, it will decide where to save. Obviously, it will store under sports, right? So it will Sachin information will be stored under sports. Again, if you directly put your uh, Sachin information under sports, it's problem. It is saved like a storing 30 lakhs data in one record only. That's not correct. I divided them into 26 records based on the alphabets in the same way. Sports also categorized into indoor and outdoor. Now cricket is a outdoor sport. So it will write under outdoor. Outdoor also we have many. We have hockey, we have volleyball, we have uh, football and we have cricket. Now under cricket also, we have, there are so many cricket playing countries like we have England, we have Pakistan, we have Bangladesh, we have South Africa, we have India. Again, under India also, we have so many players. We have Kapil Dev, we have Sehwag, we have Sachin, we have Dhoni. Now, under Sachin, it will store the information. So their data will be stored like this one. Now, so many people might have written a uh, content on Sachin. We have shown, right? Around uh, some crores of people have written content. So their content will be stored here properly. Now, someone searching for Sachin, it will go to sports, outdoor, cricket, India, Sachin, and it will retrieve the information. This is what happened here. When I type Sachin, there are 19, 19 crore results are there like this and it retrieved it took 
0.51 seconds i'll tell you on what basis the time will be there this seconds is not based on how many volume whether it is 20 crore 30 crore no how many layers are there if the layers are too much it will take much time that's it it's not big because of the quantity here so this is how it will do index i hope all of you are with me you're understanding it so first google crawlers will collect the data second it will store data as per the categories third calculating relevancy this means ranking factor now google collected the content this guy written this guy written this now regarding sachin someone searching for sachin whose information should give on top whether the guy who written first or whether the guy who written last please tell me your answers guys whose content will come on top there are 12 crore results there are three results are who will come on top i'm waiting for the answers Okay, whose content is good? Sura is saying that it's based on the content. Remaining people, Lakshmi Raja, Malishwari, Muhammad Afrid, Nirmala. Tell me, who will come on top? Sura says content. Whose content is good will come on top, sir. Best keywords, okay. Here, Google looks for good SEO and keywords, okay. Here, there are 200 factors, not one factor. Content, only content, only keywords, remaining methods, no. There are 200 factors Google check. Based on that, Google will decide. You, you will not learn 200 factors anyway. There are some 10 factors which are very important that we practically teach you. I'm going to write a blog. I'm going to submit to Google. I will show you where it is ranking, why it is ranking there what we have to do it finally assume that but i'm telling you content is the king tomorrow class you will understand content and keywords both are important but which one is more priority i will teach you tomorrow assume that this guy content is more relevant and he is following majority of the factors maybe he will be coming on a first position maybe he'll coming on a second position maybe he'll be coming on the third position that ranking factors google will do that is called calculating relevance. Finally, retrieving results. Displays results in SCRP. Now, based on these numbers, directly it will show on SCRP like this. Ah, for Sachin, Google feel that Wikipedia has more relevant information. Second, correct verse. For laptop, Google feel Amazon have more relevant content. For shows, Mintra has more relevant content. They won the ranking. This is how search engine works first it will do crawling collect the data indexing it will store data as per the categories third calculating relevancy ranking factor who should come on top google decide based on 200 factors finally retrieve results display results in scrp i hope all of you understood this concept if say type yes i will show you a video which clearly explain about how search engine works you understood guys any confusion i'm going to show this video this is really great video but by seeing that video whatever i explained here you can relate and you better understand and after that i'm because it will be mute and you'll see whenever you're free you can search and watch the video from your laptop yeah so this guy name is Matt Kurtz. He was part of uh, Google before. Now he's not part of the Google. Uh, these people write algorithms whose content should become on top. So people decide it here. They make algorithms anyway. So what I'm trying to tell you is uh, sometimes if you, if you are brilliant, yes, you can fool the Google. I did many times. I gave the same knowledge to my students. They also did it and they enjoy the benefit. So you also learn it. That's why before you do SEO, first understand the Google perfectly so that you can do wonders. 
yeah i'm playing this video please watch it carefully so i know it is important yes right guys first is crawling right crawling is done by a software called spider now the spider is coming that is a software see this is a software see what it is doing it is doing crawling it is going to each and every website and collecting the data the job of the crawler is this is only collecting the data if crawler doesn't work you can't get any information crawling is the first thing second is what i said indexing store data as per the camp see the big library the content is stored very systematically like this now you might have seen in the library the librarian he saved uh, archaeology books one side history books one side in the same way google also maintained this strong library now crawling indexing is done third calculating relevancy who should come on top see how google calculate someone searching a keyword Now Google match the content with all the library. How many website the keyword is there? Sachin, how many websites talking about Sachin? It will pick them. That's why we have around 12 crore results. It will pick them. But here is the problem. Who should come on top? Now Google is checking the 200 factors. Whether the content is copy content or not. Original content. Whether the keyword is there here or not. How many times he repeated the keyword? Is he doing any spammy things over here? In such a way, all these things, based on that, it will retrieve the results. I hope you know I didn't play the video. I didn't play the video. I put to mute. I hope you understood the video clearly. Crawler, how it is coming, how it is collecting the data, how it is indexing. Clear, guys? Type yes, so that will move forward. Okay. Right. So you have to remember these things. Crawling, indexing, calculating relevancy, retrieving the results. Okay. Right. Now, when you read newspaper or... Uh, do you read each and every line of the newspaper, guys? Generally, these days, nobody is reading the newspaper anyway. But if you read also, mistakenly, will you read each and every line or what do you read? Newspaper. Do you read each and every line or what? Headings, images. In the same way, crawler also designed in such a way that when collecting the data, it will not read each and every line. There are some important places. So these important places slowly will understand, but as of now I'm writing title, description, headings, links, file name, paragraph, image alt, bold and italics. You will learn each and everything later, but as I remember, what I'm trying to tell you is when crawler comes to your website, you have written lengthy content, but crawler will not read. Crawler will focus on these places only. So don't focus on your thousand lines. Focus on these places only. That's it. Okay. So title, description, headings, so that your job will be very easy. Next, in these places also, you write something like uh, Sachin is a... Uh, Great cricket player. You wrote this. You know what? Crawler is a software. It's a machine. It is coming to your website. You don't understand what is Sachin. Who is Sachin? What is cricket? It won't understand anything. Okay. What it will read here is, it will not even focus your sentence. First of all, your thousand lines are not important. Only these important places. In these important places also, your complete sentence is not all important. Only keyword matters. Sachin, cricket. That's it. So focus on the keywords. 
that's it guys these important places are very important and these keywords are very important but how to find out these keywords again there are some techniques are there keyword research techniques are there this uh, we spend complete day tomorrow about keyword research techniques first brainstorming google suggest keyword planner and some other tools also there uber suggest other so the complete seo is here guys seo is nothing but first do keyword research and take these keywords in your important places and try to come on top that's it this is seo this frame take a photo of this this is very important this is more like a basic most of the people struggle to come on top but if they follow these things at least you'll come on top 10 and we are going to do it practically okay tomorrow i'll be asking these questions also so please prepare this thing and come back okay i'll also take a screenshot of this right any questions fine you understood today's class i'll explain you what we learned till now and you can check yourself whether you understood this or not okay search engine google we learned serp we learned serp layout we learned seo definition we learned okay and after that how a search engine works now what are the important places crawler will read and keyword research tactics i will elaborate more on this so please look into that if you have any questions you can ask me people who join later you can watch this video again it will be there in the live section watch it again and put your comment right and guys from tomorrow sometimes i may not be live now what happens today i'm live tomorrow i may not be live but what i'll do is but every day 7 o'clock it will be streamed perfectly but it might be recorded stream as well now because i'm live now i'm sitting now i'm checking your messages now chaitanya said headline i can read but tomorrow might not be same it's recording so i cannot engage but i'll give you the subject but you listen to that you have any questions put it in the comment section and i'll try to reply because uh, i have many clients meeting sometimes exactly 7 o'clock uh, i may not take class when i feel that i have that i'll pre record it so that you will not miss the momentum designing i took many gaps but as you i don't want to take any gaps so it has to be continuous two weeks two weeks to three weeks 15 classes you will be getting and loads of knowledge you will be getting and my goal is people who are watching these videos you should become a freelancer you should start taking the projects as well okay chalo then so today i'll try to give some task to you yes i'm giving some task you can make a note of this so interior designer i make spelling mistakes many times this keywords i want to know who are there in the top 10 and for these also who are there in the top 10 so write this keyword who are coming on top the website name find the position i want a proper excel sheet okay first keyword website url and position in such a way keyword one keyword two keyword three prepare excel sheet for both keywords for this keyword top 10 and this keywords of top 10 and uh, i want you to mail me this and i created a new gmail account for this i want you to send email to that yes this is the email id you should follow 
English ODMT at gmail.com. Whoever doing the task, I will look into that and I'll give you feedback as well. Muhammad Afrid, the short and long tail keywords is nothing but if it is one or two words, it's a short tail keyword. If it is more than shoes is a short tail keyword. Buy shoes is a short tail keyword. Buy shoes online from Nike is a long tail keyword. So please make a note of this email ID and when you finish the task, you can send me. I'll look into that and I'll give you feedback. So that is the first class of SEO. More and more things will come in SEO. You will enjoy it. If you understand, this is good. If you don't understand, it will be tough for you. So that's why you watch this video again. <coughs> okay. Shall we end the session, guys? Shall we meet tomorrow? Chalo then. And uh, yes, we have English and Telugu batches, guys. And if you have any friends or relatives looking for the codes also, you can refer to them. And uh, odmt.in is our website where Telugu is there. But if you're looking for English code, just mention that I'm looking for English codes. Our counselors will get back to you. Okay. And uh, referral money also there. If you refer your friends, you'll be getting a referral amount of 5,000 rupees, guys. As of now, we're doing more business in Telugu. And uh, English as compared to Telugu less, but uh, let's see in the future. We do more with this as well. Chalo guys, thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. Bye-bye.